hello everyone welcome to today's video if you're new here i'm faith abbey and i do a lot of video tutorials on career draw powerpoint and microsoft excel and if you're already subscribed thank you so much for always coming back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to create 3d logo designs for businesses with this approach i discovered which is Corel draw so if that piques your interest keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's dive right into today's video We are using these images for the logo design with the star point seven as the logo's background. I went ahead to remove the background from this photo, although it wasn't really necessary because I figured we need to create the images ourselves so we could apply the 3D effects afterwards. If you're not familiar with this method of quickly removing image backgrounds, I have a video on it and it is linked in the description. So now we're going to create our own image by drawing on this one using the freehand tool. So guys, we're going to be using the one we've created. So let's go ahead and type our information. Your business name, your contact, and your slogan. Where is in the Franklin Gothic heavy fonts for everything? For the Instagram icon, we are going to be creating ours, remember? So we're going to be drawing on this also to make exact same icon. Remember we are doing it this way so we can apply the 3D effects. And now we've created ours. And for the phone call icon, press Ctrl F11, go back to Wing Dance. So 
and here you have it. If you're new to coil drawing and finding it difficult to go about it, I have tutorial videos for beginners. You can check it out. I'll have it linked in the description. We'll break this text apart by pressing Ctrl K. Next, we use fountain fill to apply to color tape. And I will apply the 3D effect. To do that, click on the text and go over to Drop Shadow and select Extrude. Then click on the object and drag to your desired position. Do that for every text and image. For these images we made, we have to group everything so it becomes one, and then apply the effect. To group, we we'll press Ctrl G. After that, we go back to Effects, select Extrude. Under this lighting, click on this first ball. Edit is locked. Click outside and click on the text again so you can edit it if you want to. So you can move this handle however you want it and click apply. And it gives the shadow a dark color. The second ball gives the shades of the main color. Just click on it, move the handle and click apply. You can see the way it is around here. Reducing it here will make it more opaque. And we can just leave it that way. And I'm going to do that on all the text and images. After clicking on apply, let's go ahead and remove the outline we added before. Remove the outline here also. And we're not going to forget this box.
Choosing colors sometimes while designing can be very confusing because you have to use colors that matches. That's why sometimes people design with just two colors or just one. Okay, this is better. Next, let's use Bevel on this box. So this is what Bevel actually does. After setting it here the way you want it, click apply and we get this. So let's use it on this box and it makes it look more perfect. Probably we should use it on text. Okay, not bad. And let's select everything and drop shadow. Let me give it a white color so you can see it. And so we can adjust it to the way we want it before giving it back the actual color. I'm going to duplicate this and give it a solid background just in case we're going to need it. In the last step, we're going to select everything and convert it to bitmaps. Go to bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, leave it at RGB and OK. After converting, go back to bitmaps, under 3D effects, select 3D rotate. Let's go with the number here and OK. So this is how guys with this background. If you want a solid one, let's quickly do this. So this was solid background. I'm going to insert another background that will like show the shadow effects of the text. And this looks perfect for the job. You have to always convert it to bitmaps before you can apply the 3D rotate effect. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in my next one.